And we're going to do a little experiment, or I am. This is some old. With our <laughs> air fryer. I've got some fish. i got some red fish. <coughs> this is red fish. And that's trout. All right, Nichols Retirement Empire. I'm um, we'll be doing a little cooking. Uh, like I said, we want to experiment with our fish, but we don't want to experiment so much that we take a risk of messing it up because this is some wild caught uh, sea trout or speckled trout that I caught when I was down in Florida last time. Um, I do not um, have my hairnet on today. Uh, I know a lot of you people are very concerned with regulations about cooking and uh, you get surprised when you go in restaurants and look in the back and see that people aren't wearing hair nets and you freak out and ask the manager to come up to the front and ask why people are, are not wearing hair nets and they tell you that there's nothing that says they have to wear hair nets and then you get all upset and leave the restaurant and, and things like that happen. Um, so I don't have my hair net on. I don't have any gloves on. My hands are clean. Um, I don't know how to prove that to you. You're just going to have to take my word for it. Okay. So my hands are clean. All right, I'm going to put a little of my secret secret seasoning on this. This will be Tammy's. So we will do one side of Tammy's, and this one will be mine. And we will do two sides of mine. See how I switched my hands there? See how slick that was? This is seasoning. This is not cinnamon, is it? All right, go ahead. Now, when your wife, Chris, why are you washing this fish? <laughs> when your wife does a cooking show oh, and she gets this great idea to put the cinnamon in the same, I don't even know where to put this fish. I don't want to put it back on here with the cinnamon. Royce will throw it on the back of it. So, when your wife has a cooking show and she gets the bright idea to put the cinnamon in the uh, same mixture as your frying pepper and salt mixture that you have with the It's paprika. not in the same mixture, it's in the same type bottle. And they look just alike. Well, they look a lot alike. Now tell me how smart that is. Not yeah. smart. So he just sprinkled cinnamon all over the fish. And who set this out on the table? Like, I'm going to set this out for you, honey. I did so it. <laughs> and I know that the, cin the cinnamon don't go there. It actually goes oh, up there. we'll see. And then your spices I don't go over think there. it really matters where we put the cinnamon. Well, I you know what? Time. I was busy uh, cleaning out the busy. refrigerator, and I wasn't paying attention. Okay. So anyway, wash your... Why, okay, step one. Wash the cinnamon off your fish. Okay, so once you get the cinnamon off your fish, then you can put this on there, which is a lot different than cinnamon. This has salt. This is going to be cut spicy. It has salt. It has paprika. It has um, white pepper, black pepper, and cayenne pepper. We've been using it on a variety of things, and some other people have too that watch her show. And it's pretty good. So I'm going to put it on both sides of mine because I like stuff a little touch spicy. Okay, so that's on. All right, we are going to do, and we're going to put it in egg. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put a little milk in that, in there. With that, touch. And I'm going to mix that up. Is there any uh, sugar or anything in with that breadcrumb mixture there, Tammy? No. Nothing secret? No. <laughs> is, is that actually breadcrumbs or is it like something? It's panko. Something weird? Okay. It is different than breadcrumbs. It is different. All right, so let's put hers in the egg first and then hers in the breadcrumb it's not breadcrumb it's panko and breadcrumbs okay it 
really needs to be smush coated. Smush it in there good. We say smush, or I say smush. I don't know what he says. Mash, probably. You don't have enough of it in there to... I'm Wash it. Get it clean. Use soap and everything. We're drying with a paper towel that I dispose of. Not even a regular towel that I keep from using it. All right, so we got that done. Now we need some spray. This is what we did last time. It worked out pretty good. We actually sprayed the bottom of this. Oh, this thing is, what is this? It's a Magic Chef. Uh, this has worked out really well. We like it. Um, Tammy got it to do a preview of, or not a preview, a review of. Right. And so what we did last time is we sprayed the bottom. Okay, there's mine. There's hers. And then we sprayed the top of the food. Top of the food. We did chicken last time, basically like this. And then we put it in here. And we pick. Uh oh, I don't have my glasses on. Alright, we pick mode. You waited too late, I think. No, oh, it's cool. Uh, there is a chicken leg, there is a There's fish. fish. 360 for 10 minutes. That sounds about right. Yep. So I'm going to let it go. Fish spatula. So I'm going to use it to flip it, or try to use it to flip it. Fish is delicate. There you go. Success with that one. And halfway success with that one. Some of the coating came off, but it looks like it came off the bottom. Okay, spray it again. Five more minutes. Okay, fish is ready. So, we'll see how it comes out of here. You know, when stuff is hot, when you cook with it, it gets hot. Alright, there's one piece. Looks pretty good. We're going to taste it here in a second. I know one thing we need to work on is how we put the fish in there and get it out. That needs to be something we concentrate on. Okay, so there's our two pieces. Is it good? Yeah. Real good? Yeah. Delicious. Okay. Okay. It Let is me good be and the crunchy. judge of this. The Bible says, "Judge not, lest you be judged." No, it doesn't. You can judge. It does say. Oh no, but. Really good. It is really good. Yes. Good. Yep. Let's eat. Let's eat. To keep it crunchy, we need to have it at, cook it at a higher temperature to keep the bread crumb part crunchy. Because the parts on the end are crunchy, but some of the parts on the rest of it are not. So it needs to be a higher temperature for the bread crumbs. But this is something we are learning to do, and we're going to get better and better at it because it's a lot different than how we normally cook. 400 degrees, tell them. Yeah, we probably need to do 400 degrees. When you're on a government diet, this is the kind of thing that you need to work on. So we're working on this. Thanks to my sacrifice today of trying this for the first time, Tammy will be able to make a good video and correct all the things that I have done wrong. We're going to leave the cinnamon off next time. Um, for those of you that were interested, it had a little cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamony taste. Actually, it didn't. You couldn't taste the cinnamon. I, I got the cinnamon washed off, so I would say a success. And it was still good. On top of all that, and no bones. Tammy, did you get any bones? No. No bones. So, I filleted the fish correctly. Fried chicken seasoning we've been using. 
She got out the cinnamon. And so I put it on my fish. <laughs> so she sabotaged me. How was it? Because she's so jealous. She's so jealous of me. Oh, 